Hey guys, it's Brooke and welcome to the seventh day marking one week of 13 days of Taylor. Today's video is kind of a fun one. It is not meant to be taken super seriously, but today is a video of my confessions as a longtime Swifty. Now, I have been a fan of Taylor Swift for almost 12 years. My entire first video that I did day one, it will be linked in the description, is my history of being a Taylor Swift fan. So you can go check that out if you want the full story. But these are my confessions of a longtime Swifty. And this is not meant in any way of hate towards anyone else. This is just things that I have thought over the years while being a fan of Taylor Swift. I high key believe the original theory about Taylor being a 4chan user, like with the snowy beach and all of that stuff. Like, Am I even allowed to say that? Because all I remember is the video that Shane Dawson made about it and he would say 4chan and he would bleep it out. So um, please don't come find me, government organization, if you're watching this. I totally, totally believe that theory. The original Taylor King. Even though I really loved this song when I was little, I think that the way that Camilla Bell is slut shamed in Better Than Revenge is really, really uncool. And especially since Taylor was experiencing a lot of the same thing at the time. However, Taylor wrote this song when she was 19. And I'm not making an excuse for it, but I highly, highly doubt she would use the same word choice to describe anyone now. But unfortunately, I don't support this song anymore. Taylor would have been the perfect person to play young Joni Mitchell in a movie. And the fact that she didn't just gets me to this day. Harry Styles, I know y'all are like, here she goes again, but Harry Styles so could have been the burden to this Taylor if people had left them alone. I'm surprised that I haven't like already lost all of my subscribers for being like the sole shipper of Haler in the entire world. But I'm doing okay so far, so I guess I'll just continue expressing my opinion. But like, please don't ever get me wrong though. Here's what I'm saying. I love both of those individuals so much and I think that if you watch my videos or have ever watched a video of mine or if you know me you know I love Taylor Swift and you know I love Harry Styles and I don't know what goes on behind closed doors I don't know the details of their relationship so obviously I believe everything happens for a reason and Things played out the way they did for a reason, they broke up for a reason, and they're not together now for a reason. I want them to both be so happy. I stan the fact that Taylor is with Joe Alwyn, okay? God bless Joe Alwyn. Even though the inner fangirl in me kicks and screams a little at the thought, I want Harry to end up with the best person in the whole world. Because he deserves nothing less than the best person in the whole world. Being someone who loves them both so much and knowing both of their personalities, they are both the most genuine, compassionate dorks of human beings with old souls ever. And I think that had they not been put under so much pressure, they could have had a lot longer withstanding and a lot better of a relationship and I feel bad for them that they were treated that way. I actually don't think that Taylor's like rapping is bad at all and I think you probably know this if you know me. Um, <laughs> if you're following me on Instagram, uh, I put a video on my Instagram story the other day of me rapping to the karaoke version of Ready For It and I will insert that for your viewing pleasure. I was a robber, first time that he saw me. Stealing hearts and running up and never saying sorry. But if I'm a thief then, he can join the heist and we'll move to an island. And, and he can be my jailer, Burton to this tailor. Every if you've been watching this series, you just saw me do the little shake it off bit the other day. And I don't know, like I know it's meant to be funny 
and like I'm not saying you know she <laughs> should always be rapping but like it's not that bad excuse me you're a hell of a guy I mean my my my, my like pelican fly I mean you're so shy and I'm loving your time I had a dream last night I had hot top nights I had diamonds in my mouth and diamonds on my mic by the time I I really, really don't mean this in a hateful way, but it's always confused me how she always says that she doesn't name names, but then she literally has the song Dear John. And I believe that the video clip of her saying the thing about her having the personal policy where she never names names was taken during the Red Era. So this may have been something that she established after Speak Now came out. And she obviously has gotten much older since then. She's grown and matured with time. So that may have been a thing she has come up with since then. And there are always room for improvement in people. And I don't mean anything bad towards her by saying that. But I'm always just like, but you literally put his name in the song title. Just saying. I just think that every album she's ever made is this like beautiful stepping stone in her cross between genres. I honestly like the Kendrick version of Bad Blood so much better than the original version. I wish that was the version that was on the album. There are several exceptions, but normally the guys who play her love interests in her music videos drive me absolutely crazy. And like, I don't even know why. Obviously nothing against these people. I don't know them personally. I'm obviously not trying to insult how they look or anything like that. And it's not all of them. There are exceptions. I like the guy from mine. I like the guy from ours. I like the guy from You Belong With Me. I like the guy from Love Story. I like the guy from Begin Again, but like just about all of the other ones drive me crazy. I think maybe because all of those that I just named have like happy endings to them. And as a child, I associated the people in the other ones with those stories like having bad endings. So I'm like, ew, get away from Taylor. Ah, oh, dang, I should have put it in this one. I realized you were filming them. My sister just brought my Ed Sheeran Funko Pop in here. I was gonna put it in the background of the video. Next, the next. I'm upset. Being 5'3 when Taylor is like 5'9 and being a brunette when Taylor is obviously a blonde does not stop me from modeling so much of what I look like and what I wear after what she does. In eighth grade, during the 1989 era, I cut my hair short for the first time trying to be like how she looked in that era. Kind of made the red lipstick my thing as well, which is also Taylor inspired. Like, I'm just like, I don't care if I have like complete opposite features of her. I'm gonna look like her one of these days. I do not care. I know that there was some kind of like controversy surrounding this with the whole Daft Punk thing, but Red totally got screwed out of being album of the year at the Grammys when it got nominated that year. <laughs> and the final one is that I would not be the same person I am today and I would not have the same love and appreciation for music today if I had not started listening to Taylor at such an early age. So yeah guys, those were my confessions. Hopefully um, you're not mad at me. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I said anything like horrible. Um, <laughs> I, the only thing that probably irritated people was the Haler thing. Which I say in like every video, so at this point, I, I feel like I'm gonna like go down in fandom history as that one person who liked Taylor. Um. <laughs> so yeah guys, make sure to check out days one through six. We are over halfway done now, which is kind of sad, but also I'm kind of stressed about this series. So I'm gonna be kind of relieved when I'm done with these 13 days and I can end the 13th day with seeing Taylor and shake off all of the stress that this has caused me. But I am enjoying it and I really hope that you're enjoying it. I have so many exciting things still coming up and I really love some of the videos I've put out already. So be sure to check those out. The first six videos are linked in the description. I also have a 13 days of Taylor playlist with everything on it and I add to it every day as I upload the new video. Be sure to check out my other recent uploads including my vinyl swap collab that I did with Murray 
and my July music favorites. There's also a somewhat recent vlog that I put up um, from the last week that I was in Houston. And above anything else, make sure that you check out the video that I did called Justice for Alyssa. Or if you don't feel like listening to me talk about it for 20 minutes, please just Google Justice for Alyssa or Alyssa Attorney and educate yourself on that situation because that is so important to me and so much more important than me shipping Haler. See, I'm trying to kind of get the attention away from that. No. <laughs> Bye guys, I'll see you tomorrow.